Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. People are always asking for more cooking videos, so I want to try to accommodate you all, and I'll try and post these a little bit more often. Another thing we've got in the works right now is we're putting together a little recipe book for you all. Nothing that we're going to be selling, it's just we're going to be sharing all of our recipes in a written format on our other website. And as soon as we get that put together, I'll share the information in a video. Um, that way, when someone asks a question about a recipe, they don't have to go digging through all of my video content to find that. I can just point them over to the recipe book. You can download it, get all their information quick and easy. Yeah, I like to accommodate my subscribers as much as possible. I wouldn't have much of a channel without you guys, and I love you guys. Yeah. Now, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you'd know that we like to make good homemade dishes. You know, stuff with good wholesome ingredients, stuff from the garden, some wild game, things of that nature. Of course, we do use store-bought food all the time, of course, but like to use as much organic uh, ingredients as possible. But we don't always want to be so involved with putting a recipe together. Sometimes you just want to throw something together quick and easy. Especially when we came up here to deer camp all these years, or if we go on a camping trip. These recipes that I'm going to share with you are just that. Store-bought ingredients so you can throw together really easy, but they're also very, very tasty. I'll show you how to make a very, very easy, what I call deer camp chili. I use venison, but of course you use any ground meat. And also, another one of the staple foods up here, all my life when we came up here, there'd be a can of beans. I always had a can of beans. It was usually just a side dish for hot dogs or kielbasa or maybe a nice ham steak. I'll show you how to dress up a can of beans and make it taste better than a lot of the homemade beans that I've had throughout my life. So I'll show you what I got going on. And I'm going to throw together a very simple chili mix here, but believe it or not, with these few simple ingredients, it's pretty darn tasty. I'm going to use a pound of ground venison, but of course you use any meat that you want. Got a little bit of grated cheese, a can of tomato paste. This is a can of red kidney baked beans. Yep, you heard it right. These are baked beans. Sometimes I use a can of red kidney beans and then a can of regular baked beans this is some chunky salsa doesn't matter what type you use um, i'm not going to use this whole container here i will use about half of it so yeah you heard me right it's baked beans the regular baked beans you buy with the molasses and brown sugar and all of that i know it sounds a little bit strange i've been doing it that way for a long time and it makes a really good chili. If you don't want to use the baked beans, this is regular red kidney beans. And these black beans, I like to throw in there too. The black beans are very nutritious. They are very high in antioxidants. So you can use a mixture of different kinds of beans. You can use these baked beans, some red kidney beans, and then some pinto beans. You can use a mixture of these. It really doesn't make any difference what beans you use. First thing I'm gonna do is get the venison browned up. All right, that's done, looking good. Now you see the venison, you see how lean that is? Very good, very good meat. In the pot it goes. I'm gonna dump in the can of beans can of tomato paste if you want a spicy chili use a spicy salsa if you like a chipotle chili you can use a chipotle salsa I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw some black beans in here too Now these black beans here, these are really good. 
to just throw on top of a salad too. Yep. Now that's about the consistency that I want right there. If you like your chili to be a little less tomatoey, you could put in maybe half a can of the tomato paste or even omit the tomato paste altogether. Myself, I like the tomato flavor in my chili. Some folks prefer to have less tomato flavor. Very easy recipe to tweak to your liking. Like I said, if you like a spicy chili, and you can use a spicy salsa. If you like chipotle chili, you can use a chipotle salsa. You can even buy a little can of chipotles and throw that in. But this is a good jumping off place for people that just want to throw something together, like on a camping trip, or for the folks that don't know how to cook. You want to throw a quick chili together? This is a good way to start. Yep. So I'm going to let this simmer on the wood stove for quite a while. And then I'm going to top it off with a little shredded cheddar and have it with some piping hot cornbread. Yes, sir. I really love baked beans. I always have. But I don't always want to take the time to make them from scratch. It's quite a process. Especially when I run off to deer camp or go on a camping trip or something like that. So I'll buy a can of beans. And you buy a can and it's quite deceiving because it'll say pork and beans like this can here and it shows a nice piece of salt pork on top of the beans. Or you might get one that says with bacon and onion, etc. And if you, except for that little piece of fat about the size of a nickel, if you can find the bacon and onions in the can, well, you've, your eyes are better than mine. So, I wouldn't be putting bacon and onions and sausage and other meats in with the beans if it didn't go good with them, nor would they put it in the can that way. So I'm just going to show you a very simple way to doctor up a can of beans and they come out fantastic. Since I want a little pork in my pork and beans, a few strips of bacon will do nicely. And a little breakfast sausage, or whatever meat I've got on hand. This amount should do. That's nice little chunks there. That'll be nice. There we go, in a small saucepan. A little bit of butter. A little bit of chopped onion, about that much. I'm using sweet onions. I'm just going to brown these up lightly, just till they're nice and soft, partially caramelized. So now I got the onions, they're nice and soft, they're not all crispy or anything like that. I'm going to throw in the sausage. I'm going to crumble up some cooked bacon. And throw that in. I'm not going to pulverize it, leave some nice sized pieces. And I'm going to stir in a can of beans. Now that's a hearty pot of beans right there. It looks a heck of a lot better than it does on the label with that little piece of fat on top. <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. Just a couple of quick and easy camp recipes for you to try. What I like about both beans and chili, and enjoy them for any meal of the day. I love a nice pile of baked beans with my scrambled eggs in the morning. And leftover chili, I make a chili and cheddar omelet. Good stuff. Yeah. You can use both of these recipes as a jumping off place, and then tailor the recipe to your liking. For the beans, myself, I like to use breakfast sausage, bacon, and some sweet onion. I've used ground venison, I've used ground pork, ground beef, 
mixed in with the beans work just as good. Yeah. For the chili, as I said, I used a big can of baked beans. The baked beans tend to give it a little bit of a sweet undertone. Myself, I really like the way the flavors mingle. But if you like a more traditional chili, just get yourself some red kidney beans, small can of kidney beans, and then a can of maybe pinto beans or black beans, or even just a couple of cans of kidney beans if that's what you prefer. You can make it a hot chili just by simply using a hot salsa. Generally, I will put in maybe, give or take, 20 ounces or so of the salsa. The tomato paste will give it quite a tomato flavor. And if you prefer it without that tomato flavor, like I said, you can use half a can of tomato paste or just omit the tomato paste altogether because you have the tomatoes in the salsa. Very simple. You can tweak this and make it however you want. But for a chili that is put together real quick like that, that you can whip up on the tailgate of your truck with a little camping stove, it's pretty darn good. And if you're new to my channel, don't think that we always cook with canned goods like this. <laughs> we have a lot of from scratch recipes in the cooking playlist. And also, on our header banner up above, see the Friends of Frankie and the Boss link? That is where we're putting our recipe book. You can go there for all the entrees that I have shared already. You can go there and just copy and paste the recipe, put it in your recipe book at home. So that's it for now. I'm going to have some beans here. And with the beans and the chili that I made today, we'll probably be sleeping with the windows open. <laughs> so all the best to you folks, and God bless. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of The Cabin Life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you, and God bless.